decades ago, your prophet Anna became the first lust priest in your roster. You guided her development and blessed her with charisma, so that in sacrament, where you have no control, she might profess your gospel with her luscious lips and honeyed words. It is through Anna that you revealed your tradition of the carnival, but your disciples never work alone. And lo and behold, there was young Harry. He was destined by your guiding hand to become a wise druid. Blessed with knowledge, he convinced heathens by showing your miracle of growth. Through Harry you revealed your will. Everyone should embrace the freedom naturalism offers. But now you're up to your biggest trial yet. The heathens who adore a goddess of purity refuse to bow to your morals. No, it is too soon for your religion to perish. You must prepare and forge a stronger team. Inspire and bless your disciples. Host carnivals. Enter your disciples' dreams if that is what it takes. Recruit new acolytes. Maybe it's time to resort to a more violent setup. The people will judge. Either you will lose your followers and end up in oblivion, or you will convert them by the sword to become the truth. But is this truly your gospel? Or maybe you want to create a different religion? Why not a religion of peace? Let your followers sing in your glory. Or how about greed, madness, generosity, or war? It is your choice. Guide your disciples. Convert the heathens. Create your own religion. Thraeus is a god game where you control nature through four powerful giants. You can shape the planet to your own will. Mankind will settle, and it's your responsibility to take care of them. By placing plants, animals, and minerals in just the right spots, you can let your people thrive. You can support them in their growth by helping them build their projects. You can maximize their output of food, wealth, and technology through a system of upgrades and synergies. But when mankind gets too much, their greed might get the upper hand. They'll start waging war against each other and against your giants. It is time, Underlord. Your dungeon yearns to be rebuilt, and the minions of the deep all long for blood to be spilt once again. While you were gone, the underworld has become soft and weak and the empire that dominates the surface has grown more powerful than ever before. It is time for you to once again take up the reins of evil and carve out your subterranean domain. And once you have created the dungeon of your most fevered dreams and filled its halls with the bloodthirsty creatures of your calling, you can rally your minions forth to challenge the empire who naively think that this realm is theirs alone to command. And when the last of their kind has fallen to your machine of war, well, there's always more to conquer. The time has come, Underlord. Arise once more and prepare to begin your war for the Overworld. War between the ruling mages raged for centuries. Their recklessness at a price. Warring races cast a powerful spell to keep their shattered world in balance. To achieve that, however, they used all the remaining resources of magic. Refugees of the world they knew regressed into primitive tribes. Yet now is the time. And new mages are born. Like a spark of hope. And along with the magic, the old conflict has also returned. Face the world after the magical apocalypse. Become a powerful mage, destined to reshape the ever-changing planet of Driftland. Develop your settlement into a worldwide empire. Exploit valuable resources. 
lead an army of heroes endowed with free will. Exterminate your foes. Dominate the battlefields of Driftland and crush other mages. Explore the uncharted world. When you came into this world, there gradually arose into being the sensation of I. And you feel that you are I just as much as I feel that I am I. But all the time, everywhere, there are other eyes starting up. Whether they be human, animal, anything you like. They be in other galaxies, etc. Always, they're starting up. And so the feeling that we call I is how everything feels on the inside. You can get a certain vision of life where everything is seen to be a complex pattern of rhythm. Dances, the human dance, the flower dance, the bee dance, the giraffe dance. And that's what this all is, it's jazz. This is a big jazz, this world. And what it's trying to do is to see how jazzed up it can get. How far out this play of rhythm of Ascension, a fantasy turn-based strategy game by Illwinter Game Design. What I love about this game is that you don't have to deal with the same old fantasy tropes. There's no elves or dwarves or orcs. Instead you have nations that are based on history and mythology. The story goes that the Pantocrator, basically the god of the world, has disappeared and now there's a bunch of powerful beings who are fighting each other in mortal combat to try to determine who takes his place. You play one of these pretender gods. Thank you. 